Warframe. Today we're going to look at the Saranos and the upgraded version, the Mutalist Saranos, unmodded, of course, because any weapon can be amazing with superior mods. I want to show them to you at base and completely unaltered. This weapon's going to cost you 35,000 credits along with these mats. As well, the Mutalist Saranos will cost you an additional 35,000 credits along with these mats, including the original Saranos as one of the building mats. Now, initially, I thought in a game like this, bows are going to be a little bit useless. This game can be pretty hectic and super fast paced, and, well, bows aren't typically that way. I got to admit, guys, I was a little bit wrong. Now, first to note here, guys, this bow has an arrow count of 72, meaning on a longer mission, I highly recommend taking the arrow mutation mod. All right, so let's get into the positives here. First off, it's silent, meaning that you won't have to waste a mod slot on Hush. Also, it has a high starting crit chance of 35%, and because it's a bow, it will have the natural ability to pierce multiple foes in a line. Also, this weapon has an extremely high impact damage, so it's awesome against enemy shields. But on the downside, it has miserable puncture and slash, so it has a substantially harder time dealing with high armor and health. Now, onto the Mutalist version. It shares the same advantages and disadvantages, more or less. It does have a lower crit chance, though, but it has the ability to fire an additional attack with each arrow. The additional strike spawns a toxic cloud, which can also spread any other elements modded onto the weapon. This toxic cloud is temporary, but is an AoE, making this weapon ideal for any party. In my opinion, this weapon's only failings are the slowish draw and the inability to pierce an enemy's tower shield. But the poison dots are usually enough to carry it through. I give the Saranos a 75% and the Mutalist Saranos an 85% on Garum's Happy Scale. Alright everyone, thanks for watching!